Gila Monster, the colorful and venomous desert lizard. If you've ever explored the deserts of the southwestern United States or northern Mexico, you might have come across a fascinating creature known as the Gila Monster. These striking lizards are not only unique for their colorful appearance, but also because they are one of only two venomous lizards in the world. Gila monsters are relatively large lizards, reaching a length of just over one a quarter feet. They have big heads with small, beady eyes and short, stubby tails. What makes them stand out is their bumpy, beaded skin, which gives them a warty appearance. Their skin is usually a mix of bright pink and black, arranged in a reticulated or banded pattern, depending on the population. Gila monsters call the desert regions of the southwestern United States and northern Mexico their home. You can find them in places like Arizona, southern Sonora, California, Nevada, Utah, and New Mexico. They prefer habitats with mountain foothills, where saguaro cacti and palo verde trees dominate the landscape. These lizards also like to hang out in dry riverbeds and valleys, and sometimes use burrows they dig themselves or ones made by other animals. Gila monsters have quite an eclectic diet. They snack on newborn rodents, rabbits, hares, ground nesting birds, and even other lizards. But that's not all, they also enjoy feasting on the eggs of birds, lizards, snakes, and tortoises. Young Gila monsters are particularly hungry, capable of eating up to half their body weight in one meal. Adults are no slouches either, devouring around 35% of their body weight in a single sitting. These desert dwellers are mainly active during the day, from March through November. You might spot them basking in the sun near the entrances to their underground homes during the cooler months. They take a long break from the end of November until February when they hibernate. In fact, they spend a whopping 98% of their time in their cozy burrows. One of the most unique things about Gila monsters is their venom. They're one of only two venomous lizards globally, with the other being the beaded lizard. Their venom comes from special glands in their lower jaw and is delivered through grooved teeth when they bite. While a Gila monster's bite isn't usually life-threatening to humans, it can cause pain, swelling, bleeding, nausea, and vomiting. This venom isn't used for hunting, instead, it's a powerful defense mechanism. When threatened, Gila monsters may hiss, open their mouths wide, and even try to back away. But if all else fails, they can deliver a quick, venomous bite. So, it's best to admire them from a safe distance and never attempt to handle them. Gila monsters have been the subject of many myths and misconceptions. Some people used to believe that their venom was related to their digestive system because they have a unique way of eating. There were also stories about them holding onto their prey until the sun goes down or needing to turn upside down to inject venom. These stories, though interesting, are true. In 1952, Gila monsters became the first venomous animals in North America to receive legal protection. It's now illegal to collect, kill, or sell them in Arizona. Despite their relatively large range, they are mainly found in specific areas, often around mountain ranges. Fascinating Facts About Gila Monsters 1. Gila Monsters are not known for their speed. In fact, they are quite slow-moving reptiles, which is why they rely on their venomous bite as a defense mechanism rather than trying to outrun predators. 2. These lizards have a unique way of eating. They grip onto their prey and chew on it to inject their venom. This venom helps break down the prey's tissues, making it easier for the Gila monster to consume. Unlike some other lizards, they don't use their tongues to catch food. 3. Gila monsters are not active year-round. During the cold winter months, they hibernate in their burrows to conserve energy. This behavior allows them to survive in the often harsh desert environment. 4. Gila monsters can live for quite a long time in the wild. Some individuals have been known to survive for more than 20 years. This impressive lifespan allows them to adapt and thrive in their arid habitats. 5. Gila monsters have a relatively low metabolic rate compared to other reptiles. This means they can go for extended periods without eating, which is an advantage in their unpredictable desert home where food sources can be scarce. 6. While we know some things about Gila monster reproduction, much remains a mystery. They lay eggs, but the exact process and timing in the wild are not well documented. It's thought that their eggs overwinter before hatching, which is a rare phenomenon among North American lizards. 7. Gila monsters belong to an ancient lineage of lizards that dates back millions of years. They are often considered living fossils because their closest relatives have been extinct for a very long time. 8. Gila monsters are protected by law in many regions where they are found. As mentioned earlier, it's illegal to collect, kill, or sell them in Arizona, and they are also protected in Mexico. 
This protection is crucial for their conservation and ensuring they continue to thrive in their native habitats. 9. Each Gila monster has a unique pattern on its skin, like a fingerprint. Researchers use these patterns to identify and track individual lizards in the wild, aiding in their conservation efforts. 10. Gila monsters have cultural significance for some Native American tribes. They are often associated with stories, myths, and traditional practices, showcasing the deep connection between indigenous communities and the natural world. These unique facts about Gila monsters further highlight the importance of conserving these enigmatic desert creatures and appreciating their remarkable adaptations to survive in the challenging desert environment. In conclusion, Gila monsters are fascinating creatures that add a touch of color and mystery to the desert landscapes they call home. While they might have a venomous secret, they play an essential role in their ecosystem and deserve our respect and protection. So, if you ever spot one in the wild, remember to keep your distance and enjoy observing this remarkable desert dweller from afar.